Hello, this is Oxar Haribov. I'm here at Digital Health Summit studio, and I'm joined today with John Nosta. So John, um, what do you see exciting happening in this industry today? You know, I've, I've been to these events year after year, and whether it be the Digital Health, Health Summit at CES um, or, or around the world, I'm seeing two interesting things. Number one is there's a level of excitement, mm -hmm. okay? And, and that, that excitement is contrasted by another more mundane thing that at first glance you would worry about. So it's like, oh no, is, are we losing the vibe of digital health? Is it becoming less popular? Has it peaked? It's now becoming integrated into the life science industry. So it's no longer a flash in the pan. It's no longer a hype cycle. Mm -hmm. it's, it's part of the process. So I think that's a really interesting sign, the fact that it's kind of, I don't want to use the word boring, but it's like, this is it, you know, this is drug development, this is genomics, this is big pharma, and this is the technological application to life science. So that's, that's kind of interesting. So I'm excited the fact that it's becoming a little bit more main, mainstream. But I think what excites me the most is that we're just lucky to be here. We're lucky to be alive today in the year 2016 because it's not just it, it's, it's, it's an inflection point in human history. Right. And, and I hear a lot of people talk about the, the evolution or the changes in, let's say, genomics, uh, artificial intelligence, big data, and they talk about a Gutenberg moment, right? Oh. So they say that's, that's, it's a Gutenberg moment. It's the day the printing press was born and it changed civilization. Okay, I buy that, but I think it's bigger than that. I think it's bigger than the Gutenberg moment because it's not only one thing. It's multiple factors. And the example I use is Go back 100 years, all right? So go back to the year 1900. Okay. What happened in the year 1900? I bet you can't think of one thing, right? No, Nothing. 1900. Right. Yeah, you know. 1915, 1916, 1917, something happened. Right. The Russian Revolution, World War I. Yeah. Einstein's special theory of relativity. The ability to look up into the air and see an airplane. Right. And that sense of technological wonder. Now, keep that in mind and think about what happened in the year 2000. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Ah, yeah. but one thing did happen. Y2K didn't happen. Right, exactly. Right? But nothing happened. And, and that's really interesting because I think what we're seeing today, now, in San Francisco, is this emergence of things like technology impacting our lives. Keep in mind that the cell phone, the smartphone, came came about in the year 2007. Right, right. So the beginning of the 21st century is today, is now. And that's the magic of what's going on here today. So we were lucky to be a part of it because at other times in human history, it, you know, it was just another day in innovation, another day in science. But we're seeing the convergence of a social imperative People mm -hmm. are getting older, people are getting sicker, healthcare is getting more expensive. We're seeing the empowerment of the individual. It's my data, it's the democratization of health. We're seeing the emergence of computer processing, of artificial, inf artificial intelligence, and also the ability to create new and interesting diagnostic and therapeutic devices. So it's this whirlwind of innovation that's it's kind of like a big bang. Mm -hmm. And the next hundred years will be amazing, will be absolutely amazing. And you gotta remember, that, that one thing, Ray Kurzweil, the great futurist, said that the next 100 years will bring with it 20,000 years of innovation. So the last 20,000 years of, of human civilization, civilization will be eclipsed in 100 years. And keep in mind that, the, that a girl born today mm -hmm. has a one in three chance of living to 100. That's so that's, incredible. it's not, the future is not this abstract notion that's, that's beyond arm's length. It's at, it's at our fingertips. And, and interestingly, it's also been said that the first person to live to 150 is alive today. It might be you. Might be. Well, thank you, John. Sure that thing. was really interesting. My pleasure. This is Oxar Haribov coming to you live from Digital Health Summit Studio.